There's a lot of food in Minecraft already and there's different ways to obtain it and cook it via furnaces. However, there are just not enough different types of food or ways of cooking in the game. That's why these amazing food and cooking mods will completely change the food experience in Minecraft. Pizza Craft A lot of people love pizza but what if Minecraft had pizza too? That's the basic premise of this mod, add pizza to Minecraft. Basically, Pizza Craft is exactly what it says it is. It's a mod that brings pizza to Minecraft through various new recipes. It takes a realistic approach in preparing pizza. Firstly, you must create a pizza oven and light it up via sticks and a flint and steel, and then you must gather cow's milk and plant seeds from trees to grow olives. Out of these simple ingredients, you can then craft a raw pizza and cook it in the pizza oven, and it's as simple as that. You now have cooked your first Minecraft pizza. You can also craft a pizza box out of paper to serve up and store your pizza in which is pretty cool if you want to use the mod on multiplayer and roleplay by creating your own pizza takeaway store to trade with other players. In the newer versions of this mod you can cut the pizza into slices and have access to many new ingredients and recipes such as new meat toppings and more for variation. Eat the eggs. This mod solves the problem of eggs being extremely useless in vanilla Minecraft. It adds a collection of new recipes to add more purpose for using eggs eggs in the game by allowing you to cook a variety of new foods with eggs and more such as adding bread to the game to let you make toast or egg sandwiches. You can make fried eggs by cooking an egg with coal in a furnace, scrambled eggs using three eggs in a bowl, cheesy scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs and beef, scrambled eggs and bacon, cheese, cheese and mushroom omelettes, toast and scrambled or fried egg sandwiches too. It's a nice selection of new foods to make the game more interesting and to give you more of a reason to collect eggs from chickens. Because in vanilla Minecraft there's not really so much you can do with eggs other than just throw them around or mess around with them and hatch constant amounts of chickens, lots of food. The lots of food mod is exactly what you think it is. It's a mod that adds a whole bunch of new foods into your game to give you more ways to satisfy your hunger or cravings. There are brand new foods, decorative items, harvestable crops and a new structure and cool blocks like the ice cream and drinks machine. With the mod you can grow and farm chili peppers, make chocolate and chocolate cake or bread, chorizo sausages, caramel, toffee apples, hard boiled eggs, eggs, types of pasta, make many new soups such as cactus soup, fish soup or pumpkin soup, find harvestable seaweed in the ocean, make pizza and cheesecake sandwiches and a whole lot more. The new environment structure this mod adds is the sweet house which is a randomly generated very rare building that's made out of caramel, sugar and chocolate blocks and inside the house chest with different ingredients or foods from the mod. All in all this is a pretty huge mod and definitely one to check out if you want to add a ton of new foods. Yummy. With the idea of rebalancing the hunger system in mind and with the goal of adding many more food items, Yummy adds things such as new desserts, pizza, sushi, sandwiches, sauces and salads, fish and chips, and many more new food items with the concept that protein rich foods should saturate the player and keep them from being hungry for longer than carbohydrate foods and cooked food being better than uncooked food working itself off realism. There's rice, potato chips, pumpkin pie, french toast, ice cream, potato salad and a whole range of sandwiches and many more food types that it'd be boring to just list. It's a simple food collection addition mod but with balancing and a little work on the hunger system to accompany it and it's worth checking out if you're trying to find a decision on which food mods that you want to add into your game because this is a top contender. Fruit Trees Based off the cuisine mod, the fruit trees modification adds a collection of brand new fruit trees which are the orange tree, lemon tree, a lime tree, a mandarin tree, pomelo tree, citron tree, a grapefruit tree, apple oak tree and cherry tree as well as two brand new wood types from these trees that can be made into wooden pieces. The three basic trees, the citron, lime and mandarin are generated in warm forest and plains biomes and when you collect saplings you can hybridize them together using the hybridization module. To get saplings for the apple oak tree you break standard oak leaves. Each tree has a fruit growth limit of 80 fruit. After this amount they 
will cease to be useful and fruit harvesting can be done by right clicking, although this doesn't count towards this number. Tree leaves can also be used as an item filter too as they only allow flying mobs or items to move through them. Using shears on leaves will bloom them but they will not grow fruits. The veggie way. With so many mods adding new meat items or extending the use of eggs, this little mod is added to this list for all you veggies out there for a bit of a change in spirit. Basically the veggie mod is a mod designed around offering the player highly nutritious new food alternatives to the meats in game. This mod works great with other mods such as the previously aforementioned fruit trees mod and also the farming mod Pam's Harvest Craft. Currently Minecraft is a one tracked process, kill cows, sheep, pigs and chicken for food. Well no more do you have to be an evil chicken butcher with these new item offerings. You can make superfood bars, shakes, smoothies and energy drinks and bars out of various ingredients and it uses many of the already available vanilla ingredients to craft a lot of the new foods. There's cactus and pumpkin soup, sweet berry pie, melon pie, apple pie, flour for recipes and many more new things such as protein powder that's craftable. Peanuts. Warning if your Minecraft Steve is allergic to peanuts because this mod allows you to be a peanut farmer in Minecraft. You can find wild peanuts growing in the jungle biome and when you break them you can take them home to your farm to grow yourself. You can grow peanuts and then also find berries to create jelly. For all of you peanut butter and jelly fans you can see where this is going. Finally you can make a PB&J sandwich in Minecraft. It's a very simple small mod but it blends the aspect of cooking and food with a farming theme and makes a nice addition to this mod list. If you want more crops to grow and some cool new food additions too that aren't already in the game, try out the peanut mod because it's a whole lot of fun. Birds foods. Adding over 250 brand new edible food items, Birds Foods adds many new foods that are craftable through the use of vanilla methods or through using vanilla ingredients, extending the current system exponentially. Examples of new foods include soups, stews and pies, sandwiches, burgers and tacos, juices, teas, curries, noodles and pastas, desserts, vegetarian and vegan foods and many more new ones like pies and Mexican tacos. Many standard vanilla items like like milk and sugar can be crafted into new useful foods such as yogurt and cheese and most new crafting recipes are shapeless or at the least very simple to make. Empty bottles usually used for just potions or water are more useful as they're also used as the base for all the new drinks and blaze powder is used to add a little bit of spice to some of the new items. Some of the foods have new bonuses when consumed which give more incentive to eating them than just for restoring your hunger. Nutritious milk. This is very very similar to the mod that extends the capabilities of eggs, but this mod is a really simple one that yet again is based upon extending and improving the vanilla experience by improving the use of milk in the game by adding a nutrition value to it and allowing it to fill your hunger bar and saturation. This mod is also configurable, allowing you to change the hunger level increase and saturation level increase values in the config to customise the mod to your liking, making the benefits stronger or weaker depending on preference. There's not too much else to this mod to explain but it makes a pretty mundane item into a more useful one. It just makes milk more useful in the game than it already is. Cooking for Blockheads I featured the mod Farming for Blockheads before in my top 10 Minecraft farming mods list so I had to feature this one in the food and cooking list too. The Cooking for Blockheads mod adds a brand new cooking book item as well as a fully functioning kitchen setup to the game. You basically utilise the cooking table block or the cooking book to figure out what you want to cook and make with the ingredients currently available to you. You can also upgrade the kitchen through the addition of other blocks to expand its storage or to increase its water limit, which can be increased to infinite amounts using the sink or amusing features such as cows in a jar for infinite milk. Each component unlocks new abilities that the player has at their fingertips and there's many new blocks that let you have a semi-realistic kitchen in Minecraft and the mod has support for many popular mods such as Harvestcraft. It's a nice little mod to simulate what a kitchen would be really like in Minecraft and to make your home just a little bit more homely. Sandwichable. 
The sandwich is a fabulous invention. There are so many sandwiches. My personal home favourites are egg or tuna mayonnaise, and there's some pretty amazing packaged store-bought ones in the UK. Not something that can be said for the rest of Europe though in my opinion. This fabric mod is for adding completely customisable sandwiches to Minecraft that lets players make sandwiches using a sandwich table block. First you'll have to gather some bread which you can slice up on a cutting board, and optionally toast it in a redstone powered toaster. Next up, you gather your ingredients which you can slice up to restore more hunger, and right click the right and stack the ingredients upon it upon the sandwich table, which will actually let you make it as tall as you want before you top it off with the last bread slice. Sneak and right click on this sandwich table and you can then grab the finished product which you can place by doing the same thing on the block or choose to eat it. Diet. This one is perfect mainly for those mod pack creators, yet it can be used in other scenarios. For the creation and management of diets and dietary food groups, you can use this mod which covers five classical food groups being fruits, grains, vegetables, proteins and sugars. This highly configurable mod lets you define different food groups, classifications and dietary effects granted from them. These food groups represent different types of foods which are eaten in game, with each having a value from 0 to 100% depending on how much the player has chosen to eat from that group. Dietary effects are custom rewards or penalties which are applied based upon the configured food group's values. Nears. For some interesting new fruit variants from within the new crimson and warped forest biomes within the nether, look at this specific mod. Near features nears and fars, new food offerings that grow upon bushes which can be grown from seeds which are acquired from breaking special roots of crimson and warped roots. These food items can then be used to make a variety of different foods dependent on your personal needs, with many subject to future change. You can gather soul berries from your soul bushes, and soul seeds can also be gathered from chests within nether fortresses. Dimensional Edibles Based upon an older mod called End Cakes, this mod is one that introduces not only the End Cake, but some more unexpected variants. The End Cake functions the same as the original End Cake from the Dimensional Cake mod, and it uses a new custom made texture, and it will take you on a one way trip to the end if you decide to be a glutton and eat Eat it. The nether cake variant will transport you to the nether at zero coordinate values when you try it. The overworld cake functions exactly as you would presume, letting you transport yourself to the normal world. These cakes are very useful to warp to and from each dimension on demand if you are not near a portal at any given time. For single use teleportation, there's also different apples which function mostly the same. The ender, nether and overworld apple. This mod is fairly configurable, for an example you can actually add your own cakes and apples if you want to within this mod and you can use them in a mod pack and you can edit the fuel a cake will use, the teleportation coordinates the player is transported to and enable and disable which ones you wish to be utilised or not. Carrot Garden You will find different unique carrot seeds that drop when grass is broken in this mod, just like what happens when grass is broken and you acquire wheat seeds. You can then use these different seeds on the varied vanilla ores and ore blocks or upon tilled dirt, with each carrot granting a different potion effect. There's two craftable carrots with the main use of one of them being to make the ultimate carrot, one you cannot eat but will offer wither immunity whilst in your inventory. Pam's Harvest Craft 2 Food Pam's Harvest Craft 2 is broken down into many different sub-mods to make up the full experience. For the food, we'll be covering both the food core and the food extended sub-mods. Being the first mod, the food core adds an additional 120 plus new food types to the game that will use standard vanilla ingredients with some generic recipes that will work with any fruit or vegetables in any mod that's tagged correctly. For an example, using wheat, you can make everything from toast to pasta, noodle soup, or pumpkin cupcakes. With milk, you can make cream, yogurt, chocolate ice cream, or even butter. Cocoa will let you make chocolate bars or rolls, and eggs can be made into mayonnaise or different methods of cooking them. The Food Extended mod one-ups this by bringing another 400 plus new foods using the crops and fruit trees from the other sub-mods of Pam's Harvest Craft 2, which are the crops and trees mods. This means that although the food core uses vanilla ingredients, the food system and its offerings are greatly expanded upon with the food extended mod as it actually uses the other content from Harvest Craft 2 mods. XL Food Mod This mod is a humble remake of the Baked Goods mod, a mod that will introduce a bunch of both new foods and also crops to the game. 8 new crops, 150 plus new food items, new cakes, new ores and some new flowers to be more specific. You can use vanilla flowers to make vanilla extract which can then be turned into into vanilla cream. Rock salt can also be found spawning underground which can be gathered. For traditional grains and fruits you can grow and collect rice, pepper, corn, cucumber, 
lettuce, onion, tomato and strawberry plants, some which can be made into things like butter rice, fried rice and rice bread or hot sauce or tomato sauce. You can create fast food too like slices of pizza, kebabs, burritos, tacos and tortillas or more basic western food items like hot dogs, hamburgers and buns or Asian food like sushi. There's literally every food in this mod that you could imagine and it really expands and unlocks the potential of Minecraft's food system, the spice of life. Dietary variety is encouraged in this mod through diminishing returns, meaning eating the same thing over and over will offer fewer effects and restore a lower amount of hunger over time, meaning eating the same thing constantly may not be the right move anymore. Of course, you can configure the options to your satisfaction or change the formula that it utilises if you so wish. There's food values displayed upon the food using the Apple Skin API mod which is recommended, which will showcase the nutritional value and the frequency of it being eaten. Culinary Construct You can make custom sandwiches and different bowls or stews with any food item that you have laying around with the Culinary Construct mod. Based off of community ideas, this mod adds a new block called the Culinary Station that lets you make this custom food as well as the modular sandwich and bowl of food items. You'll just need the station itself to get started with food crafting which will offer a GUI interface upon interaction where a bread or bowl is inserted first, followed by five possible ingredients, a custom name which can be entered and applied, and then the food, be it a sandwich or bowl, which is then outputted into the final slot. Crafted food will gain the total combined food value of each and all of its containing ingredients, and the saturation modifier will be the average of all of its ingredients' saturation values, proportional to their contribution to the value of the final food, meaning eating this custom food will be the same as eating everything that you put into it all at once, which makes sense. Making the perfect food is important and the variety of ingredients is meaningful here. Crafted food has a culinary quality which is measured from disgusting to delicious and depending on this quality, your food will either gain a bonus or a penalty to the saturation which is also dependent on its size. Using more ingredients in your food will help to widen this range. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you disagree with the top 10 food and cooking mods in this video and you think I missed your favourite food or cooking style mod, then definitely let me know what these mods are in the comment section below so I can feature them next time or check them out. If you want to see more top 10 Minecraft videos like this and daily gaming videos, subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos on the channel. Turn on notifications by clicking the bell so you don't miss out on daily uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.